Welcome to Red V TV as we continue our build up to the 2023 season. And with 28 days to go, four weeks before we take part in the World Club Challenge down in Penrith, it's the turn of our number 28. It's the turn of Matty Foster. And Matty is sponsored by the Saints Community Development Foundation. Has a player had as much bad luck with injury as, as this man? We've certainly had some who've had bad luck in the past, um, but you've got a feel for him, haven't you? Every time he, he tries to make a comeback, something just happens to stop that. Um, so let's have all fingers crossed for him this season that he can do all his rehabilitation and get back to playing rugby. Uh, because I think the Saints obviously see something in Matty that unfortunately we've not been able to properly see in the Red V. Yeah, um, obviously he's had broke, uh, a broken jaw. He came back and he suffered an ACL injury playing for Lee at the 2021 Magic Weekend and then re-injured the same knee last season on his comeback uh, for the Saints reserves team. Um, but listen, I know one good man who had two knee reconstructions uh, and went on to have a, a fabulous Saints career. That's what Matty follows in his footsteps. Yeah, that's it. Listen, he's got he's got players around him, and I think we've said this in the past. He's got players around him that he can lean on to kind of get through things. The positive um, that does come out of it is all the word out of the club is how he is diligent in coming back, how he's doing everything right. He's giving himself the best possible chance, um, and that that's all he can do. That's all the lad can do. Um, just give himself the best possible way of getting back to playing rugby full-time. And I, and I think if we can say one thing about Saints is we don't do things on sentiment. We, we wouldn't, yeah. obviously, they've give Matty um, another year's deal until the end of 2023. They wouldn't do that unless they fully believe that he is somebody who can contribute to our first team squad in 2023. Um, it may not be early in the year while he's still recovering from the ACL injury, but hopefully come May, June time, he'll be back on the field and we, and we can start seeing a little bit about what he's about. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, listen, as much as people, we at times might have this romantic notion that sports clubs will look after uh, players, they're a business at the end of the day. And rugby league isn't necessarily a, a sport that is awash with money and can't just afford to start throwing money away just because someone's had a couple of bad injuries um, and, and just keeping them almost nice and sweet. And there you go, there's a little bit of a sweetener. We we were not going to do that at all. Um, so this is this is definitely on talent and the expectation that he will get back to being uh, fit again. Um, because, listen, him going out on loan to, to Lee shows that he's got that, uh, use the word again, he's got that talent, hasn't he? Because you don't go out on loan to, to bigger clubs. It's not like he's gone down to to one of the, the um, struggling teams in League One. He's gone somewhere local, played games for him, been picked in a big occasion, such as Magic Weekend. So the, there is something about Matty that, that the club like. And as you say, we don't do things on sentiment. Actually, Jacob, listen, we, 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 listen, contract or not, the club would look after him in terms of his rehab. Yeah. Um, but he's been given a first-team contract. Um, and, yeah, I think we, we've all got our fingers crossed for Matty um, and we hope to see him on the field. But, there's not an awful lot else we can say. Um, he's got all the raps from being a youngster. Um, he was an England youth international alongside Jack Wellsby. So the talent is there and we just hope he gets a chance to show it. Yeah, that's it. I mean, we've spoken in, in the previous ones about how they might go out on loan or Jill Reg. His main aim has just got to be get fit. Earn yourself even another year at Saints um, or earn yourself a contract somewhere in rugby league um 
and, and hopefully he can get back to, to playing full time as I say. Absolutely. Right, Kev. I will see you bright and early Sunday morning uh, for our number 27. So, brighten up our day. Catch you soon.